Hi everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone's fabulous today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Okay. We're going to throw down some cards for Libra for their Julian New Year. And you're asking, what the heck's a Julian New Year? Well, before we switched over to the Gregorian calendar, which has been like a 400 year process, by the way. We celebrated New Year's between the 25th of March and the 1st of April. In springtime, when Pisces shifts into Aries and all things are made new. Somewhere along the way, during the switchover, we started celebrating New Year's on January 1st, obviously. And, you know, the real big celebration between like Christmas and New Year's. So really, all it did was shift a few months. It shifted a season. Okay, fine. It just makes more sense to me to do it in spring. But that's just me. Anywho, I will delve farther into that history lesson on March 31st when Neon and I get together to do the live reading for the renewal of the Zodiac Wheel. Super excited. Not quite sure what time it's going to go down that day, but it is a Tarot Tuesday. So, I told Neon, don't make any plans. Don't make any appointments. Because I'm not going to get halfway through a live reading and have to stop because we have to go to a, an appointment. So, that's going to be tons of fun. We haven't quite decided if we're going to have Thai food or coffee and scones yet. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll just see how froggy we're feeling that day. But anywho, I'm going to just stop rambling now and throw down your cards, Libra. This reading will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, all right. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. And if it doesn't resonate, and it's not going to resonate with every Libra, that's okay. Just throw it out the window. Don't even give it a second thought. Or check your moon, rising, and Venus signs. Whatever you want to do. But keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. So just because it's not resonating right now doesn't mean it's not going to resonate some other time this year. I mean, the reading's good for 12 months. So. Or it may have already resonated. Who knows? Also, all things can be vice versa and may play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. You guys are welcome here too. Come on in. Have a seat. Everybody's always welcome at Big Mama Sadge's table. All right, last shuffle for Libra. We're going to cut your cards and get them on the table. Five of Cups upright, Page of Pentacles reversed. Oh boy. Somebody may still be deeply saddened over some spilled cups. Have your back turned to the two cups still full of blessings. And somebody's not feeling too apologetic at all. Hmm. <coughs> Could be a water or an earth sign person you're dealing with. What were you supposed to take out of last year? Six of Wands. Victory. Okay. What was your shining moment? Judgment reversed. I think somebody else got this in the same spot. What are we supposed to let go of? Knight of Wands. Forward movement, possible non-committal player ways, fire sign person maybe. 
Right now there's more fire on the board than anything, so. What can you expect from this year? The Hermit. Oh. Libra. Okay. It's the card of Virgo. Might be some deep spiritual stuff going on for you this year. Possibly a healing from something that happened in the past. What's the challenge? Ten of Swords reversed. Hmm. The challenge is finally going to be allowing that painful cycle to come to an end. The only one who controls the sun shining in your life is you, Libra. Just saying. Nobody else can do that for you. How do you overcome it? Five of Pentacles. I have to get some clarity on that one. What is the focus during the transition period as Pisces moves into Aries, the High Priestess? Huh. Okay. Turning on that intuition. Libra, this could well be a very spiritual year for you. How do you handle the transition? Eight of Wands. Fast forward movement. Communication. Some of you may be having some long talks with your higher power. That's pretty awesome. <coughs> okay. Can we get some clarity on the cards on the table for Libra, please? I'm doing it backwards now. I try to do things backwards. I get lost. Ace of Swords reversed into Seven of Swords. This great sadness with this Five of Cups may have either been the catalyst of or the result of a cutoff in communication, depending on how it resonates with you. I don't know what came first, the chicken or the egg, in this situation. Seven of Swords. Clarifying the Page of Pentacles reversed. No apologies or revocation of an offer. Lies and deception. Sneaky. Again, I don't know what came first, the chicken or the egg. Somebody wasn't being honest in this situation. Why is the six of wands here for what Libra was supposed to take out of last year?
Prince of Wands reversed. I think somebody said, you know what? I'm not playing this game with you anymore. I'm done. I just caught an air of some very cocky, high and mighty energy. Four of Wands. in the upright though. <sighs> Celebration and victory with with no forward move. Yeah. Somebody said I'm done. I'm not doing this with you anymore. I'm walking through that open door over there to other things. Why is judgment reversed here? Why is judgment reversed here for Libra's shining moment? Thank you, King of Wands reversed. I get it now. And it all starts to make sense. Somebody may have tried to come back. And you said, nope. I'm going through that door over there. Because when doors close, other doors open. When you slam a door in somebody's face, the vibration will cause another door to open. I think you slammed a door in somebody's face. It can be vice versa, though. You or the other person may have just completely gone ghost. Maybe you received a communication and didn't respond. Why is the Knight of Wands here for something Libra had to let go of? Why is the Knight of Wands here for something Libra had to let go of? Nine of Pentacles. <coughs> Yeah, I think you let go of somebody who was sneaking and playing. I think part of your victory was declaring independence from it. I don't want you. I don't need you. I got me. That's amazing, Libra. I like it. Why is the hermit here for something you can expect this year? Let's face it, just because you declared victory and said enough's enough, I'm done, doesn't mean it don't still hurt. You do have a five of cups up here. It 
Eight of Wands and the Emperor. Oh yeah, I think someone's definitely having some very serious conversations with Source. Spirit, God, whatever you choose to call it. Someone may just be laying it at, at the feet of the universe saying, you know what? I know and acknowledge that I, as much control as I have, there's certain things I have no control over. Help me out here. I want to move forward. Okay. I dropped you. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed here for the challenge for Libra for this year? Six of Swords. <coughs> Packing up the boat and moving on. Packing up the boat, moving on. Saying, you know what, I'm going to go somewhere with sunshines. Some of you might be going on vacation, I don't know. You're just getting your bearings back. Seeking a little guidance, letting somebody or something else take the wheel, so to speak. How do you overcome this challenge? Why is the Five of Pentacles here for how Libra is to overcome the challenge? The chair hit. I don't know who this is resonating with. Some of you may literally just be packing up and leaving, like going for broke. Like, okay, you know what? Um, I'm going to sell everything I own and buy an RV and just go. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what I'm getting out of this. Some of you may just be packing up, literally packing up, moving, leaving. Like, I don't care if I have to sell everything I own. I don't care if I've spent every dime I have. I need to move away from this. Wow. It could be a cancer you're dealing with. Wow. Okay. Why is the High Priestess here for what Libra needs to focus on during the transition? Three of Wands and the Five of Swords. Yeah? Okay. For those of you who aren't just packing up and leaving, some of you may just be waiting it out and having serious conversations with Source and really getting in touch with yourself and putting yourself first, loving yourself first, picking up the pieces. Okay. 
Okay. Why is the Eight of Wands here for how Libra needs to handle this transition? Death. Allow the winds of change to come. Libra, the only one with the power to change this is you. I mean, you've already declared victory. You've already stood up and said, you know what, you're not doing this to me again. But you never really got over it, did you? And it's okay that it still hurts. Don't let that pain stop you from forward movement. You have to end the cycle. Would I encourage anyone to sell all their stuff and move... You know, move wherever the wind takes them. No. If that's what you feel compelled to do, it's your journey, not mine. At the very least, close the door and put some emotional distance there. You can distance yourself from it emotionally. Without having to sell all your stuff and move. Alright, real quick, because I'm getting hollered at. Six of Pentacles reversed, Four of Wands reversed. Until you get balance and stability back. Just a minute, bud, I'm in the middle of a reading. Do you get your balance and your stability back? You're not going to get you back. Yeah, no, that doesn't make sense. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to leave that there. Work on balance, stability, and that foundation. Close the door on the past. And work on you. I got me. I don't need anybody else. Keep Seven of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Keep your options open. But try not to overthink it. I mean, don't allow it to consume you. Oh, gosh. There's that judgment reversed again. Make logical head over heart decisions. Logical head over heart decisions. Distance yourself from it emotionally. Don't do something impulsive. Like throw your crap in an RV and move. Don't don't do that. You have to disconnect from the toxicity. This was a very powerful connection, and it could well be a powerful connection that's still kind of manipulating your decisions. Again, with the, put some emotional distance there. <sighs> Judgment reversed. It showed up again.
if they decide to return again after you already told them to take a long walk off short pier make sure they're not coming back with this crap and the lies They may be slightly manipulative and codependent, by the way. Magician reversed, Queen of Pentacles reversed. What's the rest of this have to say? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there. Okay, Libra, this has been your reading. I love you guys. You guys are great. You guys have been so supported over the, supportive over the last year of us here at Fire Sign Tarot. And you've been so patient with me as I'm still trying to recover from all my ailments and stuff. But I think we're getting there. Um, I love you guys. Hit the like button if you haven't already, if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to share if someone or you feel someone may need this message. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm, but know that you're loved. Be blessed, and I will catch you guys at your next reading. And don't forget to join us on the 31st if you're able, and we'll let you know what time. Catch you later.